Hello and welcome to plantfoodminerals.com. Today we're going to be making some Mitt Lighter Weekly Feed. Now I consider this to be one of the best fertilizers that you can make and one of the cheapest. Okay, now let's take a look at the four ingredients in our weekly feed. First of all, we have the Mitt Lighter Micronutrient Mix. Then we have our NPK 161616, however you can use 10, 10, 10, 12, 12, 12, 17, 17, 17. It's just the Mitt Lighter group prefers the 161616. 16. And then we have Epsom salts, common. You can get it at Walgreens or anywhere. And then you have your perlite, which is a kind of drying agent, which will help keep the mix dry once you put it together. I will be using a digital scale to measure my ingredients in ounces. And also after I'm done I will be using a five gallon bucket to put everything in and I like the lids that have the rubber seal. One of the main attributes to the mitt lighter growing method is that the fertilizer we're going to make has all 13 minerals that plants need for optimal health. And this means that your plants will have a great chance of not showing any deficiencies. For this batch, I will be using 5 ounces, which is half of the 10 ounce Mitt Lighter Micronutrient Mix packet. I will be using 2 pounds of Epsom salts, 12 and a half pounds of NPK 16, 16, 16, and about a half pound to a pound of perlite. That's up to you how much uh, perlite you want to put in. For safety, I'll be wearing a mask to help me avoid breathing in any dust particles and I will also be wearing glasses. Here I am mixing the four ingredients together into the five gallon bucket. There's no really standard way of doing this so you can do how you like it. I like to layer the ingredients together, trying to mix them more evenly. I recommend that you start off making a smaller batch at first so you can get a feel for how much you are using depending on the size of your garden. Included in the back of this video is a graphic that shows the 13 minerals that are needed for the plants and specifically what that mineral does for the plant. It's also recommended that you wear gloves while mixing the fertilizer together. I'd just like to point out the contribution that Dr. Jacob Mayleiter made. He spent 50 years figuring out the right minerals and the best ratios to use for gardening and plant growth. You don't have to use compost, you don't have to use manure because the fertilizer is feeding the plants, not feeding the soil. If you have good soil, that's a bonus. But in a lot of places in the world, they have very poor or depleted soils to work with. Now it is very important that once you have your fertilizer mixed together and the lid put on, you keep it in a cool environment. One of the problems that a lot of people run into is keeping it in a shed where the temperature gets hot and the Epsom salts turns more liquid and you'll get a really wet fertilizer and that's also why we put the perlite in it to help stop that. If you do get wet fertilizer it is okay it's still usable it's just not as easy to work with. Here are the four ingredients and I like to talk about each one individually. First is your NPK, 16, 16, 16. Now these are your primary nutrients, and that is nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium. Although 12, 12, 12 is readily available in my area, it took me a few months to find the 16, 16, 16, and I found it at a farm supply, fertilizer supply store. You can buy Epsom salts 
at any Walmart or Walgreens. I like to try to catch it on sale and buy a few packs of it. The most important part of this mix is the Midlighter Micronutrient Mix. These are the minerals that most fertilizers that you get from the store leave out. The packets are produced by the Food for Everyone Foundation and it's really a great resource because if you try to make the fertilizer yourself buying the individual minerals in 20 or 50 pound bags it would be very expensive. Perlite can be found at any local gardening supply store. I like to buy mine online just because I buy it in larger bags. Please take a moment to look at the 13 minerals and what they do for the plant individually. This was a great help for me. Before, I would listen to different gurus and they'd all talk about different ways of making compost and making the soil healthy, but they never really talked about specifically what minerals was needed or what ratios that the plants needed them in. I had postponed starting gardening for many years because I could not get clear answers to questions I had about how to grow a successful garden. Then I found the Midlighter Growing Method and it really did answer all those questions and I have been successful with the method. Thanks for watching. I hope that you will make your own Midlighter Weekly Feed and please visit plantfoodminerals.com and you can find some resources there to help get you started.